Hey, Matt. Hey, Gidget. What's up? Well, I have to run a reaction with Turk Beetle Lithium. I'm terrified. Well, you shouldn't be terrified of it. As long as you treat pyrophoric chemicals with respect, you can use them safely. I've worked with it before, and I'll help you out. Great, thanks. First off, have you considered using something besides terbutyl lithium? Obviously, it is a dangerous reagent. If we can avoid its use, that would be safer. Yeah, I checked the literature. It specifically mentions that this reaction won't work with a milder reagent. I also checked with the boss. He agrees. This is the only option. Well, let me finish up what I'm doing here, and then we'll head over to your hood and see if it's set up correctly. Great, thanks. I see your fume hood's working fine. Yeah, it was recently recertified and the light's green. And your trunk line is set up and clean. Do you know how to use it properly? No, I actually only use rubber balloons. Well, a trunk line's a better option if you have one, although balloons will work too. Let me show you how to use it. The trunk line is designed to allow working under inner atmosphere. It's built from two parallel glass tubes. One tube is connected to an inner gas and the gas is constantly running through the tube and exiting via a bubbler. The other tube is connected to a vacuum pump. The valves allow switching between vacuum and inert gas. Looks like this valve is stuck. Let's take the valves out, clean them with hexane, and re-grease them. Although these valves look the same, they're unique. See, each one has a number that will allow you to put them in the right place. Now that everything's clean, it should be ready for use. Hey, I noticed that the nitrogen stream isn't bubbling anymore. Good observation. We don't want to run out of nitrogen in the middle of a reaction. Let's go change the tank. I know the storage room is just next door, but we still need to use the cart to pull the tank. Alright, what are we going to do first? We're going to restrain the cylinder. Okay, now let's take the cap off and connect it. The cap's stuck. I'll go get a hammer. A uh, gidget. That's probably a bad idea, huh? Yeah. The cap protects the valve, which is the most sensitive part of the cylinder. If the valve were to be knocked off, the whole thing would take off like a rocket. Okay, let's take this one back to the warehouse and get a new tank. Okay, let's check the connection for leaks. It looks like it's leaking. Okay, let's retighten it. Okay, now that we've connected the new nitrogen tank, it's time to turn on the vacuum pump. Do you know what to do? Yeah, I know we need to do things in a specific order. First, turn on the vacuum. And then, cool the trap with liquid nitrogen. We want to make sure that we're not condensing oxygen into the trap. What people forget is you need to remove the trap after you stop the pump and not let it sit. A mixture of organics and liquid oxygen is an explosion waiting to happen. Yeah, if you see blue liquid in the trap, it's a bad sign because it means you have liquid oxygen. Yep, and if you do see liquid oxygen, leave the room and let it evaporate. But if you do things properly, you won't trap liquid oxygen. Alright, I think we're ready to practice. 